what's poppin' up the truckers? I'm the coming attraction and we back at it like a crack addict with another 2k video If you guys haven't already be sure to hit the subscribe button hit the like button and most importantly turn on post notifications So you don't miss a single video, but as always ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it 72 and 10 Chicago Bulls arguably the most legendary team of all time with the most legendary player of all time in Michael Jordan But what if things were a little bit different on the team? We're gonna find the fuck out we're taking LeBron James and putting him on the 72 and 10 Chicago Bulls. We time traveled back to the 95 96 season. Pity and Shaq are on the Magic. Patrick Ewing's on the Knicks. And Carl Malone is still touching little kids. Sorry, that joke was a little childish. Shouldn't have been so premature. Anyways, we got a bunch of legends. We even got Reggie Miller and Charles Barkley. The big old women sucked all the air out. But most importantly, we got the 72 and 10 Chicago Bulls without Michael Jordan. And we got the real GOAT, LeBron James. We're going to see if he can go 72 and 10 or better with this squad. Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Tony Kukoc. I mean, what more could you possibly need? We are currently picked to finish third in the East, and we are second in the power rankings to the Houston Rockets with Hakeem the Dream Elijah Wan and Sam Casella's top five ugliest people ever. We played with the Detroit Pistons our first game. Not quite the bad boys anymore. They have a young, pre-injured Grant Hill. Let's see how it goes. Oh my god, we actually won. In this game, Scottie Pippen went for 37, 10, and 9. LeBron did well too. He finished with 18, 6, and 6. He's got a long way to go though if he wants to be the GOAT. Let's get to the All-Star break so we can get a pretty good idea of how this is going to go. So we got some good news and we got some bad news. LeBron James is an All-Star captain, but we've already lost a few games. We currently sit at 54 and 6, which means we can only lose a few more times if we want to beat the record. At least we are also first in the power rankings. The Indiana Pacers are third. They were pretty good though. Mark Jackson and Reggie Miller. That's a pretty good backcourt. And speaking of Reggie Miller, he's in the three-point contest. Let's go ahead and see how good old Mr. Potato Head does. Rocking the Concord Jordan 11 is pretty interesting choice right there, considering him and MJ had a very fierce rivalry but he hits all of his shots right there on the first rack. You guys already know how this goes as we go into the four-point shot. If he hits this, I suck my own dick. Bro, that's three videos in a row. I'm not that fucking flexible. Reggie Miller finishes with 34, though. Chris Mullen's super white, but boy, oh boy, can I watch that lefty stroke it all day. What do you mean by that? This black dude actually wins a three-point contest, though. Didn't know they were allowed to play back in the 90s. Is it racist? Racist! Before I get canceled, let's get to the end of the season and see how it goes. Okay, we do have some good news. LeBron James wins most valuable player. He averaged an astonishing 34.7 rebounds, 7 assists on 55% shooting. He also somehow wins Defensive Player of the Year. That's pretty impressive, my man. All NBA first team is Penny Hardaway, Tim Hardaway, LeBron, Grant Hill, and Hakeem. Second team is John Cockton, The Glove, Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, and Shaq. Third team is Jason Kidd, Mop Mood, Chris Webber, Scotty Pippen and Patrick Ewing. Obviously, LeBron makes all defensive first team. And because we are in 1995-96, Josh Giddy unfortunately did not make all rookie first team. But I have even better news. The Chicago Bulls go 75-7, beating Michael Jordan in the original Bulls record. LeBron obviously averaged 34 points. Scottie Pippen balled out too, though. There was 22 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists with 3 steals a game. Tony Kukoc hitting threes. Even little old Steve Kerr out there dominating. Just kidding, he only averaged 6 points a game. Obviously, with that type of record, we finished at the top of the power rankings. Second in the league in points per game at 112. We also gave up the second fewest points a game at only 96. But we were sticking some great D. But before we get into the playoffs, let's take a look at the league leaders. LeBron did lead the league in scoring at 34 a game. Mitch Richmond, Patrick Ewing, and Penny Hardaway all had around 26. Akeem led the league in rebounding at 16 with a young Shaquille O'Neal right behind him. Jason Kidd, John Stockton, Tim Hardaway, Kevin Johnson, and Grant Hill all averaged over 10 assists a game. We're in the playoffs now, though. We'll be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. They got a bunch of weird dudes. Lynn Robinson, the most notable. We ended up gentlemen sweeping them. In the closeout game, LeBron James finished with 30. 37, 9, and 6 on 14 for 27 shooting. Tony Kukoc was balling out too. Was 3 for 6 on threes. In the first round of the playoffs, LeBron averaged 41 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. Let me see Michael Jordan do that shit. We're in the second round now, though, and we'll be taking on the Atlanta Hawks. Another mediocre team. Their best player is 88 overall, Mookie Blaylock. Yeah, we're up 3-0 to zero on them, too. We're going to go in here and watch this potential closeout game. I have a feeling LeBron's just going to fucking kill these guys. Plus, 90s basketball with weak anyways. I mean, look at Craig Elo. He looks like he fixed my fucking toilet last week. Simulate just a little bit. Early in the second half, we're already up 33 points. LeBron James with the ball in the corner, being guarded by some no-name player. Dennis Rodman sets the screen to LeBron, and Dennis Rodman pick and roll. That's deadly, but LeBron gets his shit thrown back. 
Dennis Robin gets the offensive rebound. Scotty Pippen trying to drive in the lane and force something up right at the shot clock expires, but he misses. Scotty Pippen now gets the steal. He's running in transition. Is he going to be able to get a dunk right here? Nice spin move. Shoots another terrible shot. I'm trying to commentate this game like it fucking matters, but it really doesn't. Let's get the fuck out of here. Look at that little motherfucker. Is that Spud Webb? It is Spud Webb. He finished with 13 points. LeBron finished that game with 32, 8, and 7. It's been pure domination for the Bulls so far. In the next round, we're going to be taking on the New York Dicks. I mean, Knicks. And the Knicks are actually an interesting team. They finished second in the Eastern Conference with a record of 63 and 19. They're actually pretty good. Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley, Anthony Mays, and John Starr and Derek Harper, but considering the Knicks could never beat the Bulls and Michael Jordan, it'll be interesting to see if LeBron can uphold that dominance. In case you guys were wondering, though, LeBron James is leading the league in playoff scoring at 39 points a game. Let's simulate this one game by game, though. Here we go. First game is going to go to the Bulls. Second game is going to go to New York. Okay, that's interesting. Third game is going to go to New York. We're down two to one. Oh my goodness, it's three to one. The New York Knicks are winning. Holy shit, is LeBron going to choke it? Being completely real, it does not matter if LeBron got a better record if he cannot finish it out with a chip. It has to be the 73 and 9 Warrior. Ah, great. We got a fucking woman ref. Pretty sure Title IX wasn't even invented back then. Let's go. Let's see if we can get a stop on the first possession. They're going to feed the ball down to Patrick Ewing in the low post short corner area. He shoots a turnaround. Nope, he faked me out. He does shoot a turnaround fadeaway jumper, but he misses. Driving in. Nice crossover right there. Use the pump fake to get his man up in the air, and he scores. It's two to zero. Chicago's up. That's all I needed to see. Let's see. It. Holy moly, we had a turnaround for the ages. We're going to win this one by 50. We do live to fight another day as LeBron James had 47 points and 7 rebounds, willing his way to a victory. But it doesn't matter because we still got a deep hole like our name is Lana Rhodes. Let's see if we can somehow win this one in New York. I have a bad feeling about this one, man. A minute to go in the fourth quarter. We're up by six points. Tony Kuko trying on the pick and roll right there. He's going to drive in and try and get a layup. He misses, but Dennis Rodman comes out with the rebound. He resets the screen right there for Ron Harper, who drives in on a spin move. He's going to be able to pit it up. No, that's going to be blocked. It's going to be a wide open three for the New York Knicks, and he hits it. Oh, my goodness, down to a three-point game. Ron James is going to the free throw line to try and ice this one out. Let's see if he has ice in his veins. The first free throw is going to be up. And he's taking fucking forever. It's up and good. Second free throw now up and on its way. And he hits that one as well. New York Knicks forced to take a timeout out of desperation. Patrick Ewing getting deep post position. He shoots a fadeaway jumper, but that is going to be no good. LeBron James and the Bulls are going to escape this one with a win. He finished the game with only 14 points, but it doesn't matter because Scottie Pippen at 30 and 10. We're going to a game seven, ladies and gentlemen. It's do or die now. All in. Marbles pushed to the center of the fucking table, however the saying goes. They got John Starks out here doing windmill dunks here we go getting this one tipped off to see if lebron's a bitch or not simulating a little bit to begin the game Chicago only up by three with about five minutes to go. Charles Oakley with great post position in there on Dennis Rodman. But oh my goodness, Dennis Rodman takes the fucking ball from LeBron James off to the races. John starts starting a nice spin move right there. He gets an easy layup. What a beautiful play right there. Offense and defense. Let's sim a little bit more. And boys and girls, I don't know how they did it, but the Bulls are going to escape this one with an eight-point win. They somehow come back from being down three to one in the series. They end up winning the Eastern Conference Finals. I truly can't believe it, but they made it to the finals. They'll be taking on the Dallas Mavericks. They have Jason Kidd, Jim Jackson, Jamal Mashburn. This should be a great series. Let's go ahead and simulate it game by game, though, to see how it finally plays out. The Bulls win game one. The Bulls win game two. The Bulls win game three. Do we have a sweep on our hands? There's only one way to find out. You know we got to go watch this potential championship game. And here we go once and for all to prove that LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan. The game is off. Sim, 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 sim. A minute to go and the Bulls are up by 16. It's been a blowout pretty much the whole way. I'm not even going to lie. Nothing exciting happened. Ron Harper has the ball with three seconds left on the shot clock. He passes it to Brown. Whoever that is, shoots a terrible shot. Jeez Louise. See, this is why I didn't show you guys any of the fucking highlights. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do a 104 to 88. LeBron James leads the 72 and 10 Chicago Bulls to a better record and a championship. I really did think they were going to choke it when they were down 3 to 1 to the New York Dicks. LeBron bounces back by leading his team and winning finals MVP. He finished the series averaging 32 points a game, 9 rebounds and 8 assists. But most importantly, they get the championship. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't make the rules. I just do the same simulations. LeBron James is officially better than fucking Michael Jordan. NBA 2K22, the most accurate representation of great basketball simulation, has proven that fact. But that is going to be all that I have for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on post notifications. I love you guys so much. It means the world to me. Go chase your dreams today. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'm becoming a trash.